So maybe the approach here is a little wrong, a little different. It could have been much more efficient if we would have built built uh, some some consensus around uh, vaccinations rather than trying to to force it on on people who are already skeptical of it. What's up, everybody? Major retired Richard Ojeda here. And vaccines are not a personal choice when they impact society. If you want to be a member of society, you have to follow society norms. As a society, we have decided that we must do everything in our power to rid ourselves of this deadly pandemic. We all use things like public transportation, public parks, and some folks have children in public schools. The key word that I'm saying here is the word public. Well, what is it in, in the police work or in the, in the, in the officers across the country that, that there is this hesitancy to get vaccinated, despite they're on the front lines uh, of this pandemic and despite the toll that the, it's taken on law enforcement? We encourage all of our members to be vaccinated. At the same time, we also recognize that we are a microcosm of, of society. There are people in this country that have a closely held belief that vaccinations are a personal choice, and we, we respect that. Uh, but we, at the same time, encourage our members to, to, to consult with, uh, with the medical personnel and make an informed decision in order to protect them and their families. Uh, this is definitely a crisis that we need to address. Uh, I suggest that a lot of the problems that we see in this country where we're struggling uh, with all of these mandates uh, really was the wrong approach. The proper approach would have been incentivized and to try and build some support around vaccinations as opposed to trying to force people to do it. Now, just simply look at it in terms of what it costs in the investments of a trained officer. What we're doing now is we're putting ourselves in a position where we're talking about taking trained personnel that, that cities have invested across this country uh, in order to be able to get them to the point where they're effective officers and telling them that although you operated for a year without a vaccination, and we appreciate it. Now, if you don't have one, we're gonna cast you aside. Now, let me take this one step further. As a police officer, you are a public servant, meaning that your job is to serve the public. So where do these jackaloons get off thinking that they're above the law? This sense of entitlement amongst the rank and file is really disturbing and infuriating to watch. Many officers I know, just like many of you, are honest, decent, stand-up people. And I'm grateful that they carry a shield and that they are out there to protect each and every one of us. It drives me crazy that the police unions are ran by the far-right vigilantes who use the media to spread crap like anti-vaccine sentiment among the rank and file. Folks, you know, that's not true. Police officers stood on the front lines and they saw the impact of COVID-19 when we didn't have vaccines. And they saw the death and helplessness that impacted our nation in the winter of 2020. You know, did everybody forget that? You know, it wasn't that long ago, thousands of Americans were dying by the hour and no one knew what to do or how to stop it. You know, we were all just hoping and praying that a vaccine was coming. The scientific community came together and did the remarkable. They delivered us, us not just one, not two, but three safe and effective vaccines. You know, we know that there are many more out there in this world, but let me tell you something, America has been blessed because we have three. Now, for whatever twisted, demented reason the far right has decided to take on the vaccine as their latest enemy and the gullible people who follow them just go along with the ride, even at the expense of their own health and safety, I will never understand the stupidity that thrives in America. Yet here we are. You know, that is why I fully support vaccine mandates. You want to be an idiot? Sure, no problem. But you just can't call yourself a public servant as well. You don't like it? Quit and go find another job. But good luck, because pretty soon they will all require vaccine mandates because employers don't want their employees dying on the job. Monsters, right? How could they be so cruel? Who are they to tell me that I can't get infected, sick, and die from a deadly global virus? It's my choice. Well, great. It is your choice. And it's society's choice to tell you that you're fired. I am so done with stupid people with stupid arguments. Just take the vaccine, folks. Don't listen to the people telling you not to take them. You know they're wrong. Sappers clear the way, airborne all the way.